Hey everyone, UFC Vegas 33 is this weekend, and in the first matchup we have a flyweight bout between Ryan Benoit and Zaruka Adeshev. Initial odds via DraftKings have Benoit as the slight favorite at minus 125, with Adeshev being the underdog at plus 105. Ryan Benoit carries a 10-7 record into this matchup. He's a 31-year-old American who fights out of SJ Muay Thai in Plano, Texas. Benoit has had 8 fights within the UFC, winning just 3 of them. His most impressive victory came back in March of 2015 when he defeated a 21-year-old Sergio Pettis. Sergio is the brother of Anthony and the current Bellator bantamweight champion. He defeated him via second round TKO. Benoit's most notable loss came in December of 2016 when he lost a split decision to current flyweight champion Brandon Moreno. Benoit is 5'5 with a 68.5 inch reach. Saruka Adeshev is a 28-year-old Uzbek who fights out of Lions Martial Arts Gym in Brooklyn, New York. Despite being just six fights into his professional MMA career, Adeshev is an accomplished kickboxer who compiled a record of 16-3 before transitioning to full-time MMA. Adeshev achieved a silver medal when competing at the WAKA World Championships, a world-renowned kickboxing organization. Here he fought up a weight class, weighing in at 59 kilograms, but fighting opponents up to 75 kilograms. Thus far, he is 0-2 in the UFC. He has lost consecutive bouts to Tyson Nam via first-round KO, and to Sue Majiri via decision. Before the UFC, Adeshev had gone 3-0 within Bellator. He is 5'5 with a 65-inch reach. Ryan Benoit is generally a composed striker with heavy hands. He likes to throw overhand bombs as he steps into range. He generally throws a right uppercut to finish a combination. He has a stiff jab that he should utilize more. Benoit is not afraid to throw heavy low leg kicks. He frequently chews up his opponent's legs as the fight progresses. He likes to mix in body shots and rips to the liver with his hands and feet. He will throw the occasional high kick. He has strong grappling skills and physical strength. Heavy ground and pound with devastating short elbow strikes. He had a war with Brandon Moreno, in which he had Moreno hurt a few times. He has quite a bit of UFC experience and ring time. He's prone to getting clipped due to his aggressive nature and lack of head movement. Benoit is quite durable. Zaruka Adeshev will have the slightly shorter reach than Benoit. He is a creative striker with power in both hands. He throws a hell of a spinning roundhouse kick. Adeshev is a combination striker who does his best with heavy volume and movement. He doesn't loop many of his strikes. They are generally straight and accurate to the target. He has a filthy step-in right Superman punch. He has powerful trips and throws, and he seems to understand distance well. Adeshev appears to lose confidence at times and slow down his tempo. He hasn't shown a high degree of grappling skills or submission skills. He was stopped in 32 seconds by Tyson Nam. Due to Benoit's striking skills, power, and grappling ability, I believe he'll get the job done against Adeshev. The official prediction is Ryan Benoit as the winner, and I'm going to pick him winner via TKO. If you like these sort of breakdowns, remember to hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs>